about our multicultural book month celebrations. In our last video, we learned what makes a book multicultural and what the word multicultural means. And today we're going to talk a little bit more about why multicultural books are important. We're going to be learning about something called mirrors and windows in books. Mirrors and windows. So I bet you've realized, since you all read so many books, that it's easier to connect with a book when you can relate to something going on in the book. Either we relate to the topic of the book or the characters or the settings. You might think, oh, I really feel like this character and I are very similar. Or, oh, the neighborhood that they show in this book is just like my neighborhood. Or maybe even this family really reminds me a lot of my family. When you can see yourself and your culture shown in a book, that means that book is a mirror for you. You can see yourself. And we all know that when we can see ourselves in a book, it makes us feel pretty good. It feels nice. I was just talking to a fourth grader the other day who said that when you can't see yourself in a book, when you can't find books that showcase your culture or your lifestyles or your family, you can feel kind of left out. And that is absolutely true. That's one of the reasons why finding multicultural books that show lots of different cultures and families and experiences is really important. We want to have those mirror books. On the other end is a window book, like looking through a window. Window books are books that show us the wider world around us. They teach us something new. Maybe they show us about a new culture that we've never learned about. Those window books are where we learn a lot of new information and we can start to get a sense of what's going on around us. If we only had mirror books, we would only be learning about ourselves. It would feel good and we'd feel very validated, but we wouldn't be learning about the world around us, which is also so important. We need both. We need those mirror books and the window books. Well, thank you for joining me today and listening and learning together about multicultural books. I hope you're enjoying Multicultural Book Month and goodbye for now.